Amarillo, a PhD student in Colorado School of Mines, and currently I'm doing the research about the human-robot interaction. And uh, our research is mainly focused on two aspects of the human-robot interaction. One is we try to explore the human surrounded environment, and second, we try to understand human mental activity. Uh, for the work presented in the ICRO 2015, we tried to explore the human surrounded environment to enforce human intentions for robotic caregiving. Uh, it is important because by the exploration of the human surrounded environment, uh, user-related user information could be connected and the user, user intention could be inferred uh, implicitly. And this would make the human robots interaction more natural and it also can reduce the user physical or psychological burden. Uh, it is challenging because usually robots has limited knowledge to uh, has limited knowledge to adapt to different environments because uh, usually robots has limited knowledge source to learn this kind of knowledge and at the same time the training cost is high. So Robot has limited knowledge, and at the same time, the robot has limited learning skills to adapt for the new situation. For because in the real situation, uh, it is always changing, and robots cannot use the use the predefined knowledge to adapt to different situations. So the robot should has ability to learn specific knowledge for specific situation. Um, for our solutions, Web IA, which has called it a Web Enabled Intention Awareness, which has made the robots to learn from the internet for a specific situation. Um, so, the robots can uh, connect the common sense knowledge from the internet by active uh, web query, and at the same time, the robots can update the knowledge driven by si a specific situation. Uh, the framework of our method is we first uh, would identify the human attended object and then use this kind of knowledge to some part of the and then use this kind of knowledge to query the internet to get the potential human intention and then we based on the specific situation we would use the environmental environmental context to query the wiki how again to get the uh, probability coordinations between the context and the object and the context and the intention. So, by using this kind of knowledge, we would infer the human intention. If the robot's performance is not satisfied in the specific situation, uh, we would trigger the robot to learn it again, to update the knowledge. So, because currently um, um, our research is just try to prove the uh, feasibility of this method, learning from the internet to have the human-robot interaction. And the current result is good. Um, the intention recognition accuracy would be more than 85%. Uh, and we also compile two kinds of knowledge. We first connect the knowledge from the internet, and also we connect the knowledge from the common people. Something like, um, in which situation you want to drink. Okay, the volunteer said uh, he wants to drink in the whole day or um, when the water intake is not enough. So we also con connect this kind of knowledge from the internet and to compile these two kinds of knowledge to see the consistency of, the, of, of them. And the result shows this, uh, the consistency is really good. So it proves that the knowledge connected from the internet is reasonable and make our methods are feasible. So, so our conclusion is uh, our methods can effectively learn the knowledge from the internet and also can accurately assist the human, uh, human intention awareness.